Hello, and thank you for visiting WorksheetsAndWalkthroughs.com. In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to take a look at division, and more specifically, how many in each group. We'll be looking at two word problems and showing the following representations as solutions. We'll be using number bonds, tape diagrams or model drawings, arrays, equal groups, and skip counting. We'll be using these worksheets. You can go to WorksheetsAndWalkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find them under our division video walkthroughs, and this is entitled Division, how many in each group? We have some directions, solve the following word problems, show your work using numbers, pictures, and words. Let's take a look at the first. Bert the baker enjoys making giant cherry pies. He uses 42 barrels of pie filling to make seven pies. How many barrels of pie filling are in each pie? Let's take a look through this. We'll do a, do a close read of this sentence by sentence, see if we can tease out the math clues. First sentence. Bert the baker enjoys making giant cherry pies. Interesting visual, but just story information. Second sentence. He uses 42 barrels of pie filling to make seven pies. Did you hear that? We've got a couple different bits of information. We have 42 barrels of, of pie filling. You're thinking that was a, an important math clue? Absolutely. That's one of our known bits of information. He uses 42 barrels of pie filling to make seven pies. There's another bit of information. 42 barrels to make seven pies. And you might be thinking, look, we have a question here. There might be a math job in there someplace. You'd be exactly right. How many barrels? of pie filling are in each, each pie. If you're thinking that's your math job, exactly right. So now we think of our known bits of information. We have 42 barrels of pie filling shared among seven pies. And then our unknown is how many barrels of pie filling are in each pie. You could think of this also using the inverse of division. If you're thinking, oh, the inverse of division would be multiplication, you'd be exactly right. So we've got seven is an, a known factor, and our unknown factor would be the number of barrels of pie filling in each pie. And we know that we have 42, 42 barrels altogether of pie filling. So you could solve it either way. Well, let's use this tape diagram or model drawing to solve this. We know that we have 42 barrels of pie filling total all together. And we also know that Bert the Baker uses those 42 barrels to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pies. And our unknown bit of information is here. We don't know how many barrels he uses in each pie. So that's what we're going to do. We've got it partitioned into seven equal pies. Now we have to determine how many barrels go in each pie. Since 42 is an even number, we can start with groups of two. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. At 14, we still need to get to 42, so we'll continue. 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42. And there you have it. We have 42 barrels of pie filling partitioned into seven equal groups, or in this case, pies. And you can see that our unknown is now equal to six. You can look at each, each individual pie and see that our known is now six. We calculated that out. We, we solved it using this model drawing or, or tape diagram. And we can insert that here. We have 42 barrels of pie filling divided among seven pies would give you six barrels in each pie or six barrels per pie. And we can insert that over here into our unknown factor multiplication problem and show that seven times six equals 42.
Again, if you wanted to skip count through that, you could, you could prove it that way. We've got equal groups, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. Now we've shown our work with numbers and pictures with our tape diagram or model drawing. And now we'll show it with words. And we do that by answering our math job. And you can use some of the words in the sentence to answer your, your problem. So we've got how many barrels of pie filling are in each pie, if you were thinking. There are six barrels of pie filling in each pie. That would be a wonderful sentence that solves your math job. You may have also shown your work using a number bond, and we've got one set up here. You can see 42, the number of barrels of pie filling, shared amongst seven pies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, seven pies. And if we had six in each pie, that would calculate. We could see six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. Yes, that checks out with a number bond. You can pause it if I'm going too fast for you to, to get this down if you need to. You may have also used an array, a seven by six array. We have seven rows with six in each row. And to calculate that out, you could count them individually, or you could see that we have groups of five here. And there are five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we'd have 30 in this section here. And we could look at this section over here next. We, we could probably look there and you might see groups of two, groups of two. So we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Solve a simpler problem there. We've got 12 here. We'll get that in the same color, ink. Total those up. One's place first, zero plus two would be two and three plus one in the tens place giving us four tens. So we've got 42 and that checks out. So you can see that seven right here, that seven, we'll kind of move that. Seven rows of six is 42 if you're thinking that. Excellent, good job. And you could also prove your work with a little bit of skip counting. So you can see we, we skipped counted by six to prove this and we'll show side by side comparison here. We've got six barrels in one pie. Okay, so we could skip count all the way from six all the way to 42, showing six for one pie, 12 for two, all the way down to 42 barrels would go in seven pies. That's our original information we got. We worked backwards and you can see that we've proved that six barrels would go in one pie. All right, there's the solution to the first problem. Let's move on to the next. In a pie eating contest, Chantal Lachamp gulped down 27 pies in nine minutes. How many pies did she eat per minute? We'll go through this a little bit faster. In a pie eating contest, Chantal Lachamp gulped down 27 pies in nine minutes. So we've got 27 and nine, a number written in word form, nine minutes. And then we have our math job. How many pies did she eat per minute? How many pies eaten per minute? That means each minute, per meaning each, for every minute she ate. How many pies? Well, that's what we need to find out. Now we've got to, let's jot down our known information. We had 27 pies that Chantal Lachamp ate, divided amongst nine minutes. What would that give us? That would be our unknown, wouldn't it? Our quotient is unknown there. Or, like we did previously, we can use multiplication sentence. Nine times what factor would give us 27? And we'll solve this using a tape diagram or model drawing. And we've got our known information shown here. We have 27 pies. And we also have nine partitions. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, representing the nine minutes that she took to eat the 27 pies, and our unknown information is here. We have to determine how many in each group. Well, in this case, it would mean how many pies did she eat in each minute, if you're thinking that good for you. So let's calculate this out. Okay, we've got Chantal as jump, and she's eating. We'll use 27 is an odd number, so we'll count by ones in, in this case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like sharing among, among friends. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And there we go. We have equal groups. We've partitioned 27 pies into minutes that it took to eat them. So now we can see that Chantal Lajamp ate three pies in every minute. Three pies each minute. Three pies per minute. So now we know that that would equal three. And we can insert this into our equations here. We have nine times three would equal 27. We'll check our work. We've got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Yes, it does check out. There we have it. We can insert that into our into our division equation. So 27 divided by 9 equals 3. That would work out. And now we can move on. We've shown our work with numbers and pictures. Now we need to put it into words. How many pies did she eat per minute? If you were thinking, you might want to take a minute to jot down your thoughts. So if you were thinking that Chantal Lachamp eats three pies per minute, you were absolutely correct. And remember, you can also show this in different ways. There are many different solutions to the same problem in math. It's a wonderful thing about it. So in this case, we have 27, showing the number of pies she ate in total. And the number of groups would be the number of minutes. She used nine minutes. Nine minutes, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, there are nine. And how many in each group? Size of the groups, or how many did she eat in each minute? And that would be three. Three pies per minute. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. That checks out as well. If you used a number bond, excellent. Now we've got our array. And we're trying to show that nine rows of three is 27. Let's check it out to make sure that check that calculates, that computes. And we, we've broken it up into groups of five here at first. So we have five, 10, 15. So we have 15 here. And we have to calculate these areas as well. So we have 15. And you may want to count by twos again two, four, six, and another group of two, four, six. That would be a couple of groups of six. Six, six, if we were to total those up, we would get six plus six is 12. 12 plus five is 17. We'll regroup, put that up there. We have two tens making 27. Yes, indeed, that does check out. So nine rows of three is 27. And we could prove it this way as well. If you did your skip counting and count bys, it would look something like this. You can see we've counted by threes from three all the way to 27. And if that works, we should get up to 27 pies in nine minutes. We've done that. And you can go back to the beginning, work backwards, and see that Chantal Lachamp eats three pies in one minute. That com completely agrees with our, our sentence. And now we've used numbers, pictures, and words to make a complete, well-rounded answer. And that was a quick look at division and how many in each group. Thank you for visiting worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com. We'll see you again next time.